Thomas and the birthday picnic. All the engines on the island of Sodor were very excited. Sir Topham Hatt's mother was coming to the island to celebrate her birthday. The engines chuffed up and down to get ready for the big day. On the big day, Sir Topham Hatt came to Tidmouth Sheds. Thomas, I have decided to take my mother on a birthday picnic. I want to show her somewhere special. I can take you to Shen Valley, sir, tooted Thomas quickly. That is a very good idea, Thomas, beamed Sir Topham Hatt. Later, Thomas puffed proudly into Knapford Station with Annie and Clarabel. He was very excited. Sir Topham Hatt, Lady Hatt, and Sir Topham Hatt's mother were waiting in their best clothes. The station master loaded the picnic baskets and the biggest birthday cake Thomas had ever seen. Thomas smiled. But Sir Topham Hatt's mother wasn't smiling. She looked very stern. She made Thomas feel nervous. Just then, Percy chuffed into the station. You'll have a wonderful time, peeped Percy. Thomas stopped feeling nervous. This was going to be the best birthday picnic ever. Thomas whooshed and whooshed through the countryside. Annie and Clarabel clattered and chattered. Everyone was happy. Finally, they arrived at the beautiful Shen Valley. There were woods and streams and green fields. Thomas was sure Sir Topham Hatt's mother would like this. It was the perfect place for a picnic. Sir Topham Hatt, his wife, and his mother looked at the fields, but they didn't smile. The fields had just been plowed into thick brown mud. Cinders and ashes, cried Thomas. We can't picnic here, said Sir Topham Hatt sternly. You'll have to have another idea. But hurry up, my mother's getting very hungry. Thomas thought very, very hard. And then he set off. Thomas pumped his pistons even harder to get to the other side of the island. He was puffing to the castle. This is my best idea yet, chuffed Thomas. At the castle station, Sir Topham Hatt spoke to the station master. Thomas, said Sir Topham Hatt, the castle is closed for redecoration and repairs. Please have another idea and be quick about it. So Thomas set off from the castle. He rocked and he rolled. He huffed and he puffed. Sir Topham Hatt, his wife, and his mother were bounced and bumped inside the carriage. Thomas went faster and faster, trying to have another idea. Sir Topham Hatt leaned out of the window. Enough, Thomas, he boomed. Stop! Thomas puffed to a halt. Where are you taking us now? I don't know, peeped Thomas sadly. I've run out of ideas. Then we will have to cancel the birthday picnic, boomed Sir Topham Hatt. It's too late. Lunchtime has passed and my mother wants to go home. Thomas hoped he'd have another idea before he got to Napa. But as he pulled in, not one idea had dropped into his funnel. Sir Topham Hatt, his wife, and his mother got off the train. And with a low toot, Thomas chuffed sadly back to Tidman. When Thomas got back to the sheds, the other engines were waiting. They had heard that Thomas's good ideas had gone wrong. Nothing went right, moaned Thomas sadly. Don't worry, peeped Percy cheerfully. I'm sure Sir Topham Hatt's mother enjoyed the cake. The cake, gasped Thomas. I steamed off before they could unload it. Now Sir Topham Hatt's mother won't even be able to have her birthday cake. 
Thomas let out a big whoosh of steam. Maybe, if I think hard enough, said Thomas, another idea will come. Of course it will, peeped Percy. Percy wanted to whistle cheerfully, but his whistle wasn't working. It was blocked with quarry dust. Blow hard, Percy, like this, said Gordon. And he blew a long, low note. I find two toots better, chirped Emily, and she gave two high toots. No, no, no. Slow and strong is always best, tooted Henry. That's it, Thomas Toot tooted. Our whistles. The other engines were puzzled. Thomas beamed. I've had another idea. Sir Topham Hatt, his wife, and his mother were sitting sadly in the living room when the station master rang. You are all to go to Knapford Station. Thomas and the other engines have a special surprise. When they arrived at Knapford, they could hardly believe their eyes. There were banners and balloons and fine food and the birthday cake. Thomas gave one toot. Then, one after the other, the engines hooted and tooted, whistled and blew, happy birthday to you. And for the first time all day, Sir Topham Hatt's mother smiled from ear to ear. This is the best birthday picnic ever, smiled Sir Topham Hatt's mother. Thomas, boomed Sir Topham Hatt, this is your best idea yet. Thomas was delighted.